Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve a run DLL error that there was a problem starting and that the specific module could not be found. So we're going to go about how to hopefully resolve this problem without too much of a hassle here and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu, type in File Explorer, Best match should come back with File Explorer listed right above App. So go ahead and left click on that. Select this PC on the left side. And now right click on the local disk where Windows is installed on. Should be indicated as well by a little Windows icon above the hard drive icon. So go ahead and right click on it. And then select the option that says Properties at the bottom of the drop down. Select the Tools tab. And then under error checking, this option will check the drive for file system errors. Select the check button. So it might say you don't need to scan the drive, but we are going to select scan drive. You can keep using the drive during the scan. If errors are found, you can decide if you want to fix them. So go ahead and select that. It will take a couple minutes to run more than likely, so just please be patient. Okay guys, so we can see it says your drive was successfully scanned, no errors were found. So select Close and then select OK to close out of that. Uh, one further thing you can try would be to open up the Start menu. Type in CMD. Best match should go back with Command Prompt. Right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a User Account Control Prompt, select Yes. Now into this elevated command line window you want to type in SFC space and then a forward slash scan now. Scan now should appear as it does on my screen as one word. So again SFC and then a space forward slash scan now. Hit enter on your keyboard to run this command. It will take a few minutes to run. But I'm not going to make you guys sit through this whole process here, so I would suggest once it says that the 100%, just close out of any open programs and applications, restart your computer, and hopefully the issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.